Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow God's beloved. Come, join me in reading God's word here in this nice place. I am enjoying this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, so, so good. Yes, so wonderful. It's so awesome. Hallelujah. Oh God, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Thank you. You are with us, in us, through us. And with you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We glorify you, oh God. I'm going to walk barefooted. It's not... rainy nor sunny it's just have a nice weather so nice <laughs> thank you father i praise you lord and i glorify you oh god yes lord you are the first and the last the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega hallelujah he was the first oh yes he was the last hallelujah he was dead but he came to life, oh yes. He was the Alpha and the Omega who live and die and live forevermore. He knows our wrecks. Let's be in faithful. He knows our poverty we should endure. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear, for no servant is greater than his master. Oh yes, indeed, no servant is greater than his master. Who has an ear, <laughs> let him hear. Who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches he who overcome receive eternal life and he who is faithful receive the crown of life yes father as we are faithful to you lord yes we will receive the crown of life the crown of rejoicing the incorruptible crown the crown of glory hallelujah Oh, we magnify you, Lord. Oh, we glorify you, Lord. And we praise your name, Father. Yes, it's so good. It's so wonderful. Yes, so awesome, Father. And you love us with an everlasting love. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Yes, Lord. You will promise, you will finish what you have started in us, Father. Because you are the God who is true to your promise. And you never lie. Hallelujah. Oh God, we magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, oh God. Thank you for this wonderful time, Father, for me to be able to come and just, God, walk and talk. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh God, you're so wonderful. Father, we pray for those who are in pain and suffering, Lord. For those who are in Ukraine, Father. I pray that your comfort be upon them, O oh Lord. Comfort them, Father, for those who are in pain, Lord. That Holy Spirit, you are the God of comfort and our helper, Father. That's what Jesus said when he went to heaven. He said that, I will send you, your helper, the Holy Spirit, comforter. Counselor, and so, and you never leave us nor forsake us because of the Holy Spirit in us. We pray for those, Lord, your children in Ukraine, Father, that they will be comforted. Lord, you will supply all their needs, oh God. Hallelujah. According to the richness in Christ Jesus. So, Lord, Father, thank you that you will be with them, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, for those who are suffering from any sickness and disease this COVID 
Father, I pray, Lord, that you will heal them completely, those who are in pain, Father. For those who, you who, have, who have different kinds of uh, sickness and disease, emotional pain, Father, physical pain, oh God, Lord, be with them, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, and even right now, Father, because um, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, and so therefore, you are present right now and healing, Lord, everyone in pain and suffering, comforting and healing them, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I believe it and I receive it, especially right now. Those who are listening to me, God, under the sound of my voice, Lord, we are praying together and agreeing together for your comfort, healing, and you are ministering them, Father. God, thank you. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Oh, God, in Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Kamalamahal. Let's continue on reading God's word here in this nice place. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God. Lord, as we read the word, your word, help us to understand, Father. Give us the spirit of wisdom and tribulation in the knowledge of you, Father. As we read your word in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of our full names we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, Mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word. Yesterday we started reading the book of Numbers, chapter um, chapter 23, verse. Last last verse was 26. Hallelujah. So now let's carry on reading Balaam's third message in the book of Numbers chapter 23 verse 27 Hallelujah Father thank you Balaam's third message then yesterday we have learned that Jesus uh, God is saying that this through Balaam that Rise up, Balak, and listen. Hear me, son of Zippor. God is not a man who does not who does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Father, thank you that you are true to your promise, Lord, individually, even to us personally, Father God. What you have started in us, you will finish it, Lord, because you are the one who put it in our hearts, Father. And so, Lord, thank you. I am believing this personally for what you have promised to me, oh, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's carry on reading. Balaam's third message. Then King Balak said to Balaam, Come, I will take you to one more place, perhaps... It will please God to let you curse them from there. So Balak took Balaam to the top of Mount Peor, overlooking the wasteland. Balaam again told Balak, Build me seven altars and prepare seven young bulls and seven rams for me to sacrifice. So Balak did as Balaam ordered and offered a young bull and a ram on each altar. It's getting hot there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Let's move to another place. Maybe here. Or maybe there. Thank you, Father. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you hear that nice sound? All right, let's go. Oh, God, help us. Sorry for disturbances. Let's continue on reading God's word. 
in the book of numbers chapter 23 and we are now the next page is it so Balak did as Balaam ordered and offered a young bull and a ram on each altar. We are now reading on chapter 24. By now, Balaam realized that the Lord was determined to bless Israel. So he did not resort to divination as before. Instead, he turned and looked out toward the wilderness where he saw the people of Israel come tribe by tribe. Then the Spirit of God came upon him and this is the message he delivered. This is the message of Balaam son of Beor, the message of the man whose eyes see clearly, the message of one who here is the words of God, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who, who bows down with eyes wide open. How beautiful are your tents, O Jacob! How lovely are your homes, O Israel! They spread before me like palm groves, like gardens by the riverside. They are like tall trees planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. Water will flow from their buckets. Their offspring have all they, ha they need. Their king will be greater than Agag. Their kingdom will be exalted. God brought them out of Egypt. For them he is as strong as a wild ox. He devours all the nations that oppose him breaking their bones in pieces, shooting them with arrows. Like a lion, Israel crouches and lies down, like a lioness who dares to arouse here. Blessed is everyone who blesses you, O Israel, and cursed is everyone who curses you. King Balak flew into a rage against Balaam, he angrily clapped his hands and shouted, I called you to curse my enemies and said you have blessed them three times. Now get out of here. Go back home. I promised to reward you richly, but the Lord has kept you from your reward. Balaam told Balak, Don't you remember that I told your messengers? I said, even if Balak were to give me his palace filled with silver and gold, I would be powerless to do anything against the will of the Lord. I told you that I could say only what the Lord says. Now I am, re I am returning to my own people. But first, let me tell you what the Israelites will to do your people in the future. Balaam final messages. This is the message Balaam revealed, delivered. This is the message of Balaam son of Boer, Beor, I really don't know how to read that. Um, this is the message of Balaam son of Beor, the message of the man whose eyes see clearly. The message of the one who hears the words of God, who has knowledge from the Most High, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who bows down the, with eyes wide open. I see him, but not here and now. I perceive him, but far in the distant future. A star will rise from Jacob. A scepter will emerge from Israel. I will crush the foreheads of Moab, Moab's people, cracking the skulls of the people of Seth. Edom will be taken over, and the year its enemy will be conquered, while Israel marches on its triumph. A ruler will rise in Jacob, who will destroy the survivors of Ur. Then 
Balaam looked over toward the people of Amalek and delivered this message. Amalek was the greatest of the nations, but its destiny is destruction. Then he looked over toward the Kenites and delivered this message. Your home is secure. Your nest is set in the rocks, but the Kenites will be destroyed when Azaria takes you captive. Balaam concluded this his message by saying, Alas, who can survive unless God has willed it? Ships will come from the coasts of Cyprus. They will oppress Azaria and afflict Eber, but they too will be utterly destroyed. Then Balaam and Balak returned to their homes. Mm. Wow. Okay, come, let's carry on reading. Moab seduces Israel. While the Israelites were camped at Acacia Grove, some of the men defiled themselves by having sexual relations with local Moabite women. These women invited them to attend sacrifices to their gods. So the Israelites feasted with them and worshipped the gods of Moab. In this way, Israel joined in the worship of Baal of Beor, causing the Lord's anger to blaze against his people. Hmm, they worship another god. The Lord issued the following command to Moses. These all the ringleaders and execute them before the Lord in broad daylight, so his fierce anger will turn away from the people of Israel. So Moses ordered Israelis, Israel's judges, each of you must put to death the men under your authority. You have joined in worshipping Baal Peor. Just then, one of the Israelites men brought a Midianite woman into his tent right before the eyes of Moses and all the people as everyone was weeping at the entrance of the tabernacle. When Phinehas, son of Belizar, the grandson of Aaron, the priest, saw this, he jumped up and left the assembly. He took a spare hand and thrust after the man into his tent. Phinehas thrust and spear all the way through the man's body and into the woman's stomach. So the plague against the Israelites was stopped, but not before 24,000 people had died. Then the Lord said to Moses, Phinehas son of Eleazar, the grandson of Aaron the priest, has turned my anger away from the Israelites by being as zealous among them as I was. So, so I stopped destroying all Israel, Israel as I had intended to do in my zealous anger. Now tell him that I am making my special covenant of peace with him. In this covenant, I give him and his descendants a permanent right to the priesthood, for in his zeal for, for me, his God, he purified the people of Israel, making them right with me. The Israelite man killed with the Midianite woman was named Zimri, son of Zalo, the leader of a family from the tribe of Simeon. The woman named was Guzbi. She was the daughter of Zor, the leader of Midianite clan. Then the Lord said to Moses, Attack the Midianites and destroy them, because they assaulted you with the with the deceit and tricked you into worshipping Baal of Peor. And because of Guzbi, the daughter of a Midianite leader, who was killed at the time of the plague because of what happened at Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, again for your word today. Help us to understand again as we meditate or we read again, Father. Hallelujah. You're telling us something about all this that happened to Israel again and again. The Lord is blessing them and uh, protecting them, protecting them, but uh, they are disobedient and uh, sometimes they just forget what the Lord has said to them. But God, you are so gracious. Father, thank you. 
and right now also father because of what jesus did on the cross for us oh god we are saved hallelujah oh father thank you lord thank you for jesus sending jesus on the cross for us and by his stripes we are healed and father thank you that for the forgiveness of our sins lord hallelujah oh lord jesus we want to receive you as a personal lord and save you into our hearts and god we are saved because of jesus hallelujah for those who call the name of the lord